I, I like to think of us being sort of psychologically unique in a way. Number one, I mean, how many teams have two first team All-Americans on their starting five? So, you know, there was the talent there. But what I remember more than anything was we were a team that did not rely on emotion. You know, it was more like a combination of pride and a combination of a willingness to do what was necessary. The year before, we played a platoon system. There was Jerry Sloan at the hub of the team and then two groups of four guys that played as a platoon. So we came together as a starting five, but not had really played together as a starting five. So it was almost like we knew we were good, but in a sense we were a new team trying to find our own chemistry to begin with. We started off with the University of Iowa, and you know we didn't defeat them handily, but we defeated them solidly. And the same with Northwestern, our second game. And then Notre Dame was actually ranked pretty high in the nation and ended up beating them by eight or nine points. And that was, if you will, psychologically a turning point because at that point, I think we realized we could play with anybody. And I remember Coach McCutcheon after that game saying that that was his biggest thrill of his coaching life, not the Notre Dame game per se, but the Iowa and Northwestern and Notre Dame game, bing, 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 bing. Southern Illinois snuck up on us when they came here mid-season. They were our only two real challenges during the whole year. It was daunting in the sense that we knew it was the championship game and we were 28 and 0 at that point and everything was on the, on the line so there was like a awesome sense about it. But once uh, on the court, it was another game. The only time during the game I felt a clutch in my chest was about midway through the second half, they got an eight point lead on us. But I remember we got the ball down the court, got the ball into Humes, he scored. I don't remember exactly it went, but it's like almost like Larry scored three out of the next four baskets. And the next thing we knew, we were tied with them. Well, there was the opening tip and it, it, it went towards our basket and there was a scramble and Sloan grabbed it and threw it down to Sam and he laid in a, a layup. But the next time we got the ball down the court, we got the ball to Larry in the center section, but he went to his left and he threw up like a 15-foot hook shot. And I remember being out on the guard position, getting ready to yell, no, and dang if he didn't, you know, slide it off the glass and into the basket. So now we're up four. And then it was like kind of trading baskets. You know, we got up to five, six, and it was a matter of holding on. It's really wonderful to say we were 29-0 and won the NCAA championship.